Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. All right, um, let's just get right into your reading, Virgo. Everything you need is in the description box below. And be mindful, I'm here every night, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, Sunday through Thursday. So the messages may change, they may be the same. Just keep that in mind. It may not resonate with you, it might. If it does, just take what fits. Leave the rest, okay. All right, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You've got the runner just flipped out right there out of the blue. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So you got somebody here who's very codependent and is runs away as soon as the opportunity for closeness happens. And this is a this feels like someone who this is like the a pattern for this person. All right, let me see what's going on, Virgo. Feels like a pattern. Okay, hmm. But you've also got love call. So someone expresses their love, or you're getting a phone call, or a message of love, someone letting you know, thinking of you and letting you know, and then they run away. <laughs> okay, so this is a kind of an in and out energy. Maybe you are already experiencing this with someone. You could be experiencing this November through December somebody touching base or they're on the run or they're very busy and they're just calling to let you know that they're thinking of you that kind of message going on here okay the golden mirror so you're dealing with an arc self-absorbed person one-sided relationship love bombing oh see these messages this is how the relate this is how the readings sometimes go virgo so you've got someone here who is giving you that intermittent reinforcement or will be they reach out uh, express their love to you a little bit of love bombing going on it's all on their terms and then if you try to call them and then they're not available they run away <laughs> Virgo seriously if you guys have something like this going on don't gaslight yourselves just keep it moving just keep it moving with someone like this okay true love showed up here in the reverse and so this is not your true love okay it might be a fun romantic kind of thing but it's fleeting I feel like it's fleeting with this person and then separation in the reverse which means that they come back so yeah Virgo you've got somebody showing up here coming back in reaching out to you um, if they don't have a way to get a hold of you they find a way to get a hold of you to let you know they miss you um you know they're expressing that they love you um they want to talk to you uh, they just wanted to hear your voice <clears throat> they were hoping they're hoping for a reply back okay um all right let's get into this let's see what's going on because i feel like for a lot of you if you already have like i said some situation like this or you experience this you know <laughs> I understand sometimes people get busy but you know there's really I mean you sit on the toilet and you know you're in there for like 15 minutes it doesn't take long to reach out and talk to somebody I mean you don't have to talk to them while you're on the toilet but you know it, it's just to give a text and then say hey I'm busy but I'll call you in like 10 minutes or something I feel like you know you've got somebody here that is either gonna leave some kind of message or a voicemail if you don't answer the phone and it's going to be, you know, all these hearts, um, all this love energy. Are, is, are you their true love? I mean, I feel like somebody here is like, they're just very self-absorbed. Self if it's convenient to them to reach out to you, then that's what they'll do. And then there'll be separation and then they come in and out of your life. Okay, so watch out for the holidays, especially if you got somebody doing this because it's, you know, unless it, so the other thing is if you have feelings for someone and, but they just view you as a friend, then technically that's on you to, you know, kind of take a look and say, okay, maybe I'm over invested and this person's not. And so maybe they're not doing anything wrong. They're just being a friend. But if somebody is love bombing you, and giving you some kind of, I don't know, trying to, like they're an opportunist, they're trying to sell you something. This person has an extreme fear of intimacy. Very codependent. Can't let you go. 
they run away, but then they always come back to try to control the situation. Okay, I hope that this is not your story, but it must be for somebody. Okay, hold on a sec. Let me breathe because I feel like, <laughs> and hopefully I'm not doing the Darth Vader breath thing here in my microphone, but I just feel like a caution is needed. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, yeah, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So this person, like, <laughs> they come in and they disrupt. I see somebody coming in here and disrupting. Um, for some of you, it might be an unwelcome change, and then they, but then there's delays and setbacks from this person. So that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is like not making changes. Um, <sighs> This person is like stuck on you. Okay, they're stuck, but they're stuck to the point where they make you stuck. You might have felt that way or you may feel that way going forward in the next 30 days. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, Page of Swords in the reverse. So this person is stalking, stalking, spying. They come in with some kind of message or, you know, if, if you answer or you talk to them, you ask them, like, why you haven't heard from them, they'll give you some kind of like, oh, I had some bad luck or some stuff was going on out of my control, external forces, um, unwelcome chains. I've had some delays and my life's been in upheaval and I've had a um, bad run of money, you know, and I haven't, you know, I haven't reached out you know, because I've had all this other stuff going on. It's someone who comes across as like, they're very defensive. They don't really come in and tell you exactly what the truth is. They kind of are like a player. Are, is this person like a narcissist? I mean, we could just say they're self-absorbed and they, and they come in showing up here as like a bit of a player with the Page of Swords reversed. So... It's weakness. It, this person is weak. They're weak for you. They can't stop. They can't seem to... I don't feel like this person's ever really experienced true love. I just don't, you know? But yet they can't keep away, okay? Because the separation is in reverse. So there may be time apart and then they come back in. Now let me see. Okay, the devil in reverse, wow. Or a bit of imbalance, self-indulgence, excess, lack of perspective, antagonism, and a bit of recklessness. Okay, this person has a very reckless heart. That's what I feel like the energy is with them. They're very reckless in their heart. You know, they're, they're restless as well. It, it just feels like they can't, they're, um, it just feels like very unstable with the devil in the reverse. You know, um, and generally, you know, the devil in reverse can be a good sign because it's like recovery or leaving an abusive situation. But it's also all about having fun, sexy times together. So, you know, where's the commitment from this person? And I feel like some of you ask yourselves that or you will be like, where is the commitment? What is this just reaching out? I feel like this reading is more geared for some of you who were led to believe that a relationship was going to come out of something here. But it feels like somebody, whoever this person is, we have Capricorn, we have Gemini, whoever this person is, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, whoever they are, they can't seem to commit. They're committed to self. Um, but they're also an opportunist is how I feel. They might be coming in to ask you or reaching out to ask you for money too. So be careful with that. Okay, the star in the reverse. This person is not shining bright in their life at this time. They're full of despair. Maybe they had somebody else that you might have known about and they're coming back in to get their, to dip their, you know, their toe in the water to get a little to get re-energized, but I feel like this person is bored in their life at this time. They have nothing else going on. They have no uh, inspiration. This, per this person, I'm just hearing, they just said, they have no purpose. They're not on their purpose, which is why they can't commit in a relationship because they're restless and reckless. 
they don't know. I just feel like when someone's on their purpose in life, it's not a problem to commit to a relationship when they have their goals and they, they're trying to achieve. People who don't have a purpose, don't know what their calling is. People who don't know what they're striving for in their lives will seek out validation or some type of um, purpose in others. You know what I mean? They seek out a purpose in others. I feel like this person maybe at one point was on their purpose and they knew what they were doing and they kind of like had a lot of hope and very creative and inspirate, inspired. Um, and they were content at one point in their lives, but not now. No, that star in the reverse, that's like a falling star. Depression, Ill, some illness maybe, if a sense of arrogance, maybe even impotence. They feel like they're being ignored, maybe by you. And that's why they're reaching out or trying to reach out to you in this time period. Okay, that's Aquarius energy there. So let me see. I mean, all these cards, they're all in reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse, Sagittarius. No, I'm sorry, Leo. Well, it could be Sag, but it's a Leo card. So this person's defense lifts when it comes to you. I mean, it's like, it's just like shit or get off the pot already. I, mean, I don't know if I'm saying that to you or if I'm saying it to this person, whoever they are. I just feel like they can't let go of the attachment. They try to let go. And then they'll be reaching out to you again. And when that nine of wands is in the reverse, again, that feels like a bit of a player. You know, they try to end something because the nines are about completion and they come in and start over again. So I feel like this person, if you're resonating with this, I feel like this is cycle is just coming in to repeat from this, from whoever they are, whoever your person is or whoever this person is showing up in your life. If you don't know them or haven't met them yet, this is a pattern for this person. And you got to be very careful that you don't get your be too open and vulnerable with anybody right away and that you don't lay down and create a soul tie because I feel like you might get really hurt. I don't feel like it's connected to the reading that the singles that I did yesterday. For a lot of you, this is somebody you already know. Okay, so yeah, this person, they're, they've been in isolation and now they're coming out of isolation. It might be a holiday thing, maybe around for in the US Thanksgiving maybe um, or for others November 24th or sometime going into the Christmas holiday there's just this come back around reaching out kind of thing but this I don't see change with this person I see a very si a similar pattern in a cycle just repeating all right give me a clarifying card for this devil I feel like they're coming in to satisfy self with that self-indulgence but with that devil in the reverse okay maybe it's a friends with benefit okay the emperor in the reverse so there you go I mean the reading is just going the way it's going this person lacks discipline they're very stubborn um, maybe an absentee parent paternity issues um, abuse of power nasty ego type of a person big nasty ego they poor planner they don't make future plans or they do and then they don't follow through just very immature you know this feels to me like it's like a grown girl or a grown boy kind of situation not a grown woman not a grown man it's a grown girl or a grown boy so this person might be older or be, an, be like up there in age as an adult, but they act like they're still, I don't know, very, very young, um, temporary, very like temperamental. If they don't get their way, you know, it, it's just Merry Christmas. <laughs> there you go. Five of Swords. 
So abuse, okay? This person, a um, little bit of an intimidate, some kind of aggressive disorder. You know, I, I don't know if you will experience this or you experience it with this person, if you know who they are. Again, with the Aquarius, some Aries here. There's just this come in, get what they need, get what they want, and then sh do the shutout and shut you out and then they and then they shut other people out and um maybe reach out to you and so all right let me just ask okay because this person's coming in tremendously unstable let me ask if there's going to be at any time any shift or change in the future with this person is anything going to cause well let's ask how about this Will this person ever ever be ready for a true loving relationship? Okay, wow. The moon in reverse. I do feel like, yeah, at some point, releasing fear, unveiling their secrets, because I feel like there's a lot of secretiveness and they're very um, possessive and stalking and spying. Um, subsiding anxiety their fears yes and what is going to lead this person to that huh you there's something about you see you you're very stable virgo king of pentacles energy you are very stable and i feel like when this person is around you they can't get anything over on you definitely not you know you're mature you're a grown man grown woman successful, wealthy. I feel like this person feels like you're out of their league, um, but they keep trying anyway, but then they fail because they know they can never live up to like neutral baseline. You know what I mean? I don't know that some of you might be like exceptionally wealthy or exceptionally um, have high status and others you just might be, you know, uh, just good, you know, but I feel like this person like you, they, you're like an you're like an empire you're like a some kind of a conqueror <laughs> virgo i mean you're not a risk taker in the sense like if it doesn't make sense to you or if it doesn't show good results to you you won't take the risk it wouldn't be worth it because then that would just be stupidity i think for you and this person they see this about you <laughs> I was just thinking, that is so crazy. I was just thinking of the Fool card in the reverse when I was saying that. Recklessness, fearlessness, risk, dumb risk. The Fool in the reverse is always someone who is like, takes unprepared risks, you know? Like a risk to take would be like if you're going to invest in stocks. You watch it for a while. You see how it does. You take your time. Yes, it's going to be a risk. You could invest and then something else could happen that you can't see and then it all falls apart. But an un or a careless risk is where you just like you're not even being accountable. You're not even looking. You're just dropping dimes here and there. You know, so I feel like this person, this is how they live their life. And compared to you, you know, you, you have your, your material things, you have maybe you have investments, or you have money saved up, or you have nice things, quality things, you maybe have you make a good home, you know, there's stability around you. And this person is all over the map. All over the map. Careless, apathetic, unprepared, and mostly absent. Not present of mind. So yeah, I, uh, so the question I was asking, are they ever going to be ready for a relationship? I think that at some point, yes, but I wouldn't sit by that phone and wait for that love call, Virgo. Mm -mm. You have got to keep it moving, you know, and if somebody's coming in here that's, you know, you're very attracted to and you get along with, like this is someone where they come in and there's chemistry that's like really off the charts, but chemistry is not all there is to a relationship. There has to be that love feeling. And there also has to be compatibility. You know, we can have chemistry with, you know, um, the grocer 
um, and they, but the grocer could be married and you could be too. And so therefore you're not compatible. You know what I mean? Like you have to think about not just the chemistry, not just the feelings and the attraction, but the compatibility. Are you compatible? Are there obstacles? Can they be overcome? And if not, if you might have to say to somebody, listen, we're not compatible. It's not about the love. It's not about the chemistry. Yeah, that's there. But this can't work because we're not compatible. Why aren't we compatible? Because you can't, you can't sit still and be present here, you know, and, and that's the, that's the conversation. I feel like if you're going to have any kind of conversation with someone, that's what you have to say to somebody, you know, because if not, you'll get stuck on that chemistry thing and that soul tie. And that is a dangerous place. You're going to lose time with something like that or a person like that who comes in and then runs away yeah it's like you got to put an end to this here virgo so i feel like if you did say to this person like without anger but just gave just drop the truth bomb i mean they're gonna come in and drop a love bomb and you, if you're going to pick up that phone or respond to this person in any way, however they reach out to you, you need to drop a truth bomb. But a night, but like you know, a considerate one, no revenge seeking, nothing like that. But you do it for yourself, and maybe even some of you need to help them to set you free, because I don't feel like this person can set themselves free from you. However. You dropping that truth bomb on this person when you come in with your stability and um, your articulation and, and, you know, you're very aware. Virgos are very self-aware, and um, but they gaslight themselves because their emotions get the best of them at times because Virgos feel things very deeply and don't often share. And then that kind of energy gets stuck within them. And if they don't release that, then it actually like gets behind the wheel and starts driving the love car for Virgos and then you know but a lot of the time Virgo will just have like a whoop they'll hit the brakes and say wait a minute getting out of control here so what will this person do yeah I mean that I do. look I'm not trying to give you false hope can people change yes will this person make changes yes but you gotta let them know you gotta call this person out on childish behavior behavior childish or childlike behavior you you have to um this just they're giving me this image of like child coming home from school and then going outside to play and then running back in the house and then running back out and running back in and running back out and then you know the parents like you know stay in or stay out what you keep coming in and out of the house and you're dragging mud all over the place like stay in or stay out pick a lane and I feel like some of you got to say that. And you telling this person is going to cause them to have some kind of transformation. Because you know what? Children are not self-aware. And they don't, often I don't feel like this person is even aware of what they're doing. And even if they're only being a friend, but if they're leading you on or making you think that there's going to be more, then you got to call them out. Okay. If they're unable to fix themselves, you cannot fix them because this is not your child. Okay, so Scorpio, Virgo here. I feel, um, did I say Pisces? If not, here you go. And also Taurus. So, and I did say Taurus. So I feel like this person is, is going to make a change, definitely. And it's going to be really, they just said the 13th month. There's no such thing. What do you mean? Oh, the 13th month. <laughs> I think some, I think I have like a jokester um, uh, spirit guide here because <laughs> I just heard it clearly now. When are they going to change? Yeah, the 13th month. It's like, okay, well, when cows fly or when pigs fly. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's there's a spirit guide with me who's like, don't, don't hold your breath. I feel like that's the message here. Yes, they're going to make those changes, but don't hold your breath. I do see this person. That's what I was saying. 
They have a lack of foresight. Three of Wands in the reverse. A lack of foresight and a lack of planning. Um, they come back or they, they're returning. Re moving home or they're returning from travels when they make those changes. I don't know what that means. Okay. Wow. And then Queen of Pentacles again. Look, the only court cards here are the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, you're like bookending this person. I feel like it starts and stops with you. What this situation here, what's going on here. Let me take a look a little bit more at your energy, how you're going to be, what you're going to do. I mean, I was asking if they were going to change and how that was going to happen and it'll be because of you. But what is going to be Virgo's, what actions or deeds or what's Virgo going to do? Huh gosh okay you've got the knight of cups yeah um virgo i think your energy is basically going to be to this person listen you know i i have affection for you but i don't have affection for that lying cheating running away behavior you know so i think you're just going to tell them listen you keep making this decision to leave and then coming back you know like you got to choose a lane and if you can't choose it i'm going to choose it for you if you haven't done that already, okay, and you might do this going forward. Now we have the King of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And man, Aquarius keeps showing up a lot. Heavy Aquarius. I don't know if there's Aquarius somewhere in this person's chart. But I do feel like for you, it's also going to come down to like, listen, if you don't propose or um, like you saying to this person, if you don't propose, if you don't make this offer, the offer that's, or take the action that I need you to take, I'm leaving. That's with that seven of swords. I'm making a break for it. I'm out. Yeah. So you guys might actually experience this with someone going forward up until, you know, the, from now until the 14th of December. And, um, whether you know this person or you're already dealing with them, like you talk to them every day or there's an in and out energy or you just meet this person coming up. I think for you, it's about like you're not taking less than you deserve, right? What you because I feel like you need to get your needs met just like everybody else. Everybody's out here in life trying to get their needs met. Everybody is out here in life trying to get their needs met. We don't go through life not trying to get our needs met. We do, right? And everybody's trying everyone. <laughs> it's the way it goes. So you have every right to ask for your needs to be met. I mean, listen, Virgo, you go to the supermarket. You're trying to get your needs met in the grocery aisle. And you're like looking at all the macaroni and cheese and you're just like, I don't want that. I don't want that. All right, I'll take that. That'll work. That's how you have, kind of have to be here in this relationship with this person. You know, yes, I love macaroni and cheese, but not any mac and cheese will do. It's got to be specific. It has to be where I'm going to be satisfied. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like, will this person make those changes? Yeah, but I don't really feel like they are even fully aware that they're doing this or maybe even how you feel. Um, they might... <sighs> I feel like this person does have love for you, but their their fear of intimacy keeps them from moving forward because, and I'm not making kudo or um, kudo. I'm not making um, concessions for this person, but I feel like they aren't sure if you really love them or or won't be, or they can't detect it, which is a really weird word. Why are they saying detect it? They might be on the spectrum. It might be difficult for them to, to detect if the, the feeling or the emotion, they might have, um, okay, there's a sign right there. They might have like um, some, they might not pick up on social cues. Okay, wow. Okay, this reading's getting deep. So let me just take a couple more things here for you, Virgo, and see your advice here. Okay, so some of you need to grieve and let go of Scorpio, and some of you need to accept an offer from a Capricorn. Okay, a lot of you need to just have your grief continue 
in bereavement, mourning, um, experience the heartbreak. Um, don't focus too long on the loss, but feel the feelings of sadness, abandonment, or things like that, that you, if you, you know, because I feel like, yeah, this person will make the change. But like I said, um, when pigs fly, <laughs> you know, I, I, I just get a sense that it won't be right away. I mean, you might plant a seed in this person's brain, but you, I don't, I don't yeah, see the Ace of Cups here in the reverse. So it's going to be delayed. It's going to be um, the new love start with someone here will be a bit delayed and you need to get back on your routine and get back into doing what it is that you do every day. Get back up on that horse and continue striving. I feel like that's your that's your message here as far as like your advice goes. Yeah, I do feel like this person will make the changes, but nothing's going to happen and you have to nip it in the bud with this person and you have to tell them, you know, if you have feelings for them and, and what you want from them and if they're not able to move something or even just dating or have affection between you um, or sh even chivalry or, you know, take some kind of action with you that you're going to just walk away for good. Now, I know some of you, you've already done that with someone and this, this might be a new start here with somebody else, but I feel like this is more about you, like nipping things in the bud. Don't get don't get your feelings don't get too attached too quickly to anybody because you got to kind of find out what people are about you know everybody comes in with putting their best foot forward they do the love bombing they do trying to impress you know they're they're in their best clothes they're on their best behavior and then it's after you're dating for a while how much time goes by and then it's like oh some true colors showing here that's why you got to like you got to have an objective view of who you're getting involved with. If your feelings start, you know, clawing into this person before your head has even made the decision, that's why you guys are listening to tarot card readings because <laughs> you're trying to find out what's going on. But it's it's just get, it's about getting realistic with yourself, you know, and see, and calling a spade a spade and seeing something for what it is. Because some of you are just kind of caught up in your feels and that's okay it you know what was done was done you know um if this is a relationship that you've had in the past and somebody's reaching out again listen you you have to be realistic with yourself here virgo okay deeply loving male so king cups a win situation somebody here i guess this person likes like i said they're a player they do kind of they might seek attention from uh, others they do a lot of flirting they have a tendency to overindulge with others um partying a lot that kind of thing um and it's a struggle i feel like this person is very unsatisfied with what they've been coming across uh, it's it's just not satisfying for them. You know, when I was um, like 18, 17, my best friend Steve, he's passed away. Um, but he, oh gosh, back in the 80s, he was our local Bon Jovi. <laughs> all the girls, all the girls. At, he was a singer in a band and all... Uh, uh, girls would flock to him it was like he had this magnetism and we were best friends and I remember sitting with him one time and I said to him Steve why did you why did you get into all this like why did you start this he was like I only got into music so I could pick up girls now by this time he was like in his early 20s and he said to me you know what I'm sick of it he goes I'm absolutely I'm like I'm sick of it they're all fake um, they're all chasing after me just because they think I'm Bon Jovi. And of course, that's how he got, you know, he, he used that to get people to his shows to make his money and everything. But I remember him telling me such young, he's like, I'm sick of this lifestyle. And eventually he got married and had children, you know, and he eventually kind of got out of that, you know, that entertainment life. But I feel like whoever this person is, that they were living their life as a player um, it just feels to me like it's unsatisfying. Maybe it, 
they might be a lot old they might be old now and it's just finally hitting them but yeah i just feel like this person is yeah ready to start a new chapter in their life here but it's not something for you to wait around for seriously i mean i do feel like this person wants to conform and settle down at some point yeah um but you know, Virgo, is that going to be with you? Or is that going to be with somebody else? I don't know. But if they, it seems like if they're going to continue living their life that way, and just calling on you like you're a fangirl or fanboy, then I mean, you got to cut that off because you are a grown adult. You know what I mean? So this anger, no in situation in reverse. Virgo, I feel like for you, no matter what happens, it's a win win, because if they get it together, I don't see them going towards anybody else. If everything is so great in their life, why are they still calling you? If they have another person in their life, why are they still reaching out to you? I mean, it certainly can't just be because you're available. If the things were so great for them, why do they keep reaching out to you? Did you ever ask yourself that question? Right? Because if it's great, you wouldn't be hearing from them ever again. And that's why I feel like this person comes in, they reach out, they do that love call, and then they run. Like there's a, there's some issue. So um, yeah, it, I do get a sense that at some point they will connect with you. But Virgo, you might already move on or you might just decide, nah, you're not going to do this going forward. You know, um, if you've been dating someone for a short while and they're doing this energy and then they're coming back around no, at the end of November into December, I feel like it's a win for you because if they straighten it out, then yeah, then you can move forward. But if they don't straighten it out, you're free to find somebody else or be available for somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Ghosted or blocked in the reverse. So I feel like they're going to come and make a decision. They will. But, you know, I, I don't want to say that you're going to be gone. I don't want to say that 100% um, because I know there's a percentage of you that are going to give them a chance to see if they come correct with their bloody stump. And then there's others of you who are like, no, I'm not waiting around for that. Um, I have other options, you know, and are just like what's done is done and you're going to move your life forward, you know, and that's good. That's very good for you. So it's individual. What you choose to do is what you're going to do. Although I do definitely feel like your energy is going to be like you know bloody stumps or keep it moving come in and meet the need that I'm requesting and that I need to have in order for this to be something or I don't be friends don't want to be friends don't want to be friends okay let me see what your message of love is I mean like this whole oh let's be friends thing is such a load of crap <laughs> That's someone's way of saying, it's just a way of saying, well, can I still do what I'm doing, but call it something else? <laughs> no, you can't. Get the F out and don't come back. <laughs> Go do what you need to do and straighten your shit out. And then you can come back and we'll talk. All right. Messages of love. Okay, stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Sure it can. Can anything change? Can anything be healed? Absolutely. Yeah, it can. It can. It can. But both have to want it. The compatibility has to be there. Which means somebody has to grow up here. And for some of you Virgos, it might even be you. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to call only the other person out. Some of you lessons learned as well. Some of your growth is going to come in the form of putting your foot down and saying, listen, this is what needs to happen in order for, for this to work on my end. What I need from you. Listen, I'm going to say this and maybe I'm going to be the only one in this community of tower readers and spiritual who's going to say this, but love relationships, unless you have children, should never be unconditional, ever ever we love relationship romantic relationships are transactional the unconditional part is where you're getting confused 
You can have unconditional love for your children, your immediate family members, but even still, you have to have boundaries with some, but you have to have boundaries, period. But romantic relationships are they're not unconditional. They're transactional. That's why we're getting our needs met. You do this for me. I do this for you. It's reciprocal. That's what it means. It's charitable. It's giving, but it's also receiving as well. I mean, there's some people who are like people pleasers and they give and give and give, but you can never give anything back to them. Giving is a form of love as well, it's a form of loving someone. And if someone is always giving but never receiving, then they're not participating in the relationship. And if someone is always taking but never um, giving, they're not participating in the relationship either. It's a, it's a beautiful dance. So I am, I am saying that straight out and some people might disagree with me and that's fine, you can go to another channel. Um, but I don't believe, you know, romantic relationships should be unconditional. I think that's extremely unhealthy. Okay, finances. Financial challenge could be affecting or will be affecting this connection. Okay, I'm not really sure what that means, but you might have a financial connection to this person. Okay, that could be an obstacle. Why there's a lack of compatibility here and now your true love is already part of your life Virgo so you for some of you you might already know who this person is um, you might be like okay yeah I know who that person is but things aren't working out um, for others they'll be showing up definitely but I feel like you may already know them okay and you already know the answer you seek your intuition so some of you are going to make a decision to, you know, put your foot down and give them one last try. Others, you've already done that. And now, you know, they might be resurfacing again around the holidays. Because like I said, there's codependency. This person can't seem to give up. They don't want to lose you, but they're too fearful to get close. So they kind of keep you at a stalemate. And no one can keep you at a stalemate unless you let them. So you're partially to blame because you if you're recognizing that that's what you're in then you have to be the one they don't have to set you free you have to set them free they can't get free and if it's not working out and they're not changing you have to set them free okay let me see i feel like i'm preaching i'm not trying to preach interference okay there might be a third party this person might have a um like a spouse as well but they are secretly longing for you but you know what that's what I was saying if they're involved with someone you know why are they reaching out to you if it's so great you know they could just be lying so you have to figure that out you have to sort that out okay um, let me see what is the Chinese sign for this person okay or you rooster the dragon year of the pig year of the rabbit year of the dog year of the snake year of the monkey and year of the goat okay all right let me see if i can get some names for you guys and then i gotta go watch this eagles game and make sure i don't miss this okay names or whatever information spirit wants virgo to know Huh. Somebody's got like an orange and red tablecloth or curtains. Okay. Um, all right. Now that I'm giving me, um, maybe somebody drives a, a red sports car. Somebody has a red sports car, they just said. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh. I'm seeing camping or a campfire, people sitting around a campfire as well. Um, so Reggie or Regina, I'm hearing. Um, Eugene also. So, okay, hold on. Okay, somebody's got a really horrible headache. Oh, almost either 
someone has a headache right now and it's just so painful or my or had a migraine I'm just feeling like pressure in my head like a headache or a migraine and like somebody's either rubbing their head or, or someone's rubbing their own head right now okay somebody's born in 1975 September 1975 okay now Jessica oh gosh why is that song coming into my head now I wish that I had Jesse's girl <laughs> I wish that I had Jesse's girl okay <laughs> interesting how the star showed up twice in reverse okay all right somebody is has a very dark skin and very dark hair very dark skin and very dark hair and then they're just giving me the name George or Georgia something someone with very dark skin and very dark hair who lives in Georgia or it's the name George or Georgia okay all right and somebody wears Vans Vans, sneakers, Vans, or Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy's, I just heard, Vans or Tom Hardy's, okay, hmm, somebody's in Arizona, just heard Arizona, all right, somebody has their hair up in a bun, hair up in a bun light colored light brown maybe brown hair up in a bun hmm okay somebody's rolling a joint on a book open an open book rolling a joint on an open book <laughs> <laughs> or reading about marijuana or CBD or something or studying something about it or business kind of thing and that's weird I just saw a timer that you plug into a wall a timer that you plug into a wall or maybe like a kitchen timer okay okay all right hold on it's weird. I just said the eagles, so I'm picking up the eagles again. And, um, oh, an eagle and a dove. That's so strange. An eagle and a dove. And a marshmallow on a stick. They're just giving me a marsh marshmallows on a stick. Okay, um, the Middle East. Someone's from the Middle East. Also, I'm going to do two more. Okay. Oh, somebody's like looking at their Christmas decorations, looking for their angel. If someone puts an angel on top of a tree, can't find their angel or they're looking at their angel or they find it. It's, it's an angel, an angel topper on a Christmas tree. Okay. Oh, okay. And there's someone, two people who are going to have a baby within two years there's a baby conception it's going to happen or pregnancy um it's either can be a conception now and or soon not in two years but th within two years time there's going to be a birth of a of a baby i'm hearing um and i feel like it's going to be a little boy okay let me get a charm for you guys oh Okay, you have lipstick. And hold on. I just saw Saturn. Are we in the Saturn return? I don't remember. Okay, somebody likes if you wear lipstick, I mean maybe some of you guys do. If you wear lipstick and somebody likes pink lipstick or likes your pink lipstick, if you wear pink lips or pink lip gloss or something along those lines, there's a dragon, and we also have a ship wheel, a ship's wheel, charter, maybe you're going on a ship or on a boat, chartering a trip on a ship, or you're at the, at the helm, 
you're steering the wheel in a ship, you're steering the, the, the um, navigating through the emotional abyss <laughs> of your life at this time, or somebody works on a ship or is in the Navy or somewhere at sea also. Um, so this dragon, okay, I'm just hearing House of Dragon. Maybe you're watching House of Dragons, or is that a show or some kind of show, but a dragon, um, I don't know where else you would see a dragon except for maybe a show like that but i'm just picking up a dragon all right you guys i'm going to leave your reading there that was a nice long 50 minutes i hope that that was informative and helpful and um yeah i will see you all back here tomorrow don't forget to click like before you leave on your way out and um also you guys Oh, never mind. If you want to get a personal reading, I'm sorry, there's a link in the description box below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye.